Hey everybody, Sunset Games here. Welcome to another video, and uh, today we are going to be replacing the thermal paste on the graphics card in this really old system. There's a side panel here, you can't really see it. It's not like my other computer. Oh, this is dropped my phone. <laughs> uh, it's not like my other one over there, where it, uh, you can have, not have the side panel or whatever. But So I've been running uh, GTA 5 here for about 15 minutes. And uh, our temperatures have gotten up to 75 degrees, 100% utilization on our uh, GPU, and our CPU is sitting pretty cool, barely even being used. Uh, we're basically using all of our RAM, this is 6 gigabytes of DDR, yeah, DDR3. The graphics card also has 2 gigabytes of DDR3, at the moment we are only using 100 and, or, sorry, 1830. So, uh, there is a mild overclock on this. Uh, so first let me show you my settings here. So, uh, if you look at here, we are running at 1080p, DirectX 12. And we have Fixa on, or FXAA. Uh, MSAA is off. The NVIDIA one's off. VSync is on, so 60 hertz is my monitor. Distance scaling is at max. Everything's basically at high. Uh, MSA reflection is off. High, high. Sh soft shadows is on soft. Uh, everything else is high here. And filtering is high. Uh, advanced graphics, there is nothing on at all. And if we head back to the desktop, if I can get there. There we go. We look at this. Uh, the overclock is at 300. And 200, 77 degrees now. And uh, these cannot be moved because it, this is the GT730 with uh, 2 gigabytes of DDR3. So uh, we're going to be replacing it in thermal paste. And we'll see how these temps drop. Hitting 77 right now. It's a lot of temperature. So uh, let's get to replacing that thermal paste. Alright, so we got our graphics card out of the system. As I said before, GT730, uh, 2 gigabytes of DDR3, not GDDR, DDR3. So, uh, it's, it's passively cooled, so that's probably where we're hitting like 80 degrees by the time I ended the recording. Uh, I let it cool down, and uh, there is just four screws on the back here. It's about the CPU cooler, I think. You could probably strap CPU cooler to here, but I mean... There's probably not enough room in our little PC here. So uh, I'm going to unscrew the un unsquare, unscrew these uh, four screws, and uh, we'll take a look under there. Keep in mind, as the title says, this is a five-year-old. Well, probably six years old, actually. I think I searched up six-year-old uh, graphics card, so it's pretty old. Can't really run much, but uh, let's see if that... It helps our temperatures at all once we remove this and clean it up. So let's get going. Alright, so this is what our uh, card looks like after it has been removed. I organized all the four screws, so if you place it uh, this, yeah, this way. Wait, no, it was this way. They all line up where they're supposed to go. And, uh, I mean, thermal paste, uh, it looks pretty dry. Looks like there's a lot used, but like... It is dry, guys. I, it's, there's none getting in my finger, really. I mean, there's a tiny bit. But even on the CPU die, which is still decently warm. That's probably the only reason this is, like, still not dry. Is the fact that it was warm so it could heat up. I don't know if thermal paste... I don't know how thermal paste works, alright? Don't quote me on that. I, I'm pretty sure when it warms up, it gets a bit more liquidy. Not very much. But it unhardens a tiny bit. I don't know. Don't be saying weird things now, guys. Alright. So, uh, let me clean up this thermal paste. And, uh, let's get going. Alright, so I've cleaned this to be my best ability. Why do I screw up everything? <laughs> I, I, I always try to speak. Normally. It's like I got this in my head, but then I screwed up. Alright. Cleaned it to my best ability. Or the best to my ability. Uh looks pretty good and on here also looks pretty good 
Let me see if I can turn my flash on. It's not bad. I mean, there's still some left around, but I don't really want to mess with the resistors around there. I don't want to rip them off by accident, screw up the board. So, uh, let's apply some more thermal paste here. And then I'll put back on the thing, and we shall test our temperatures. Alright, so, I mean, this is kind of ridiculous. So, we, we've basically dropped a whole 20 degrees. So, 62 degrees right now. I mean, it slowly climbs from here, but it kind of goes back down. Again, I've been playing for about 15 minutes, like 10 to 15. CPU is still being barely used, but, I mean, our GPU is just really barely going up. And, uh, I guess that, that worked. I didn't destroy it. So, that's pretty good. See, I mean, it just goes up to 64, then comes back down to 63. Maybe it'll slowly climb up to 65, but, I mean, that's still a humongous improvement. It'll still be a 15 degree difference. So, degree Celsius, sorry. Uh, that's, I don't know, that's amazing, guys. That's... I mean, I, I don't know if that was changed. I'll look back at the recording, but I, I think that that megahertz is a bit higher. I didn't overclock it or anything. Like, the settings are still the same. If you look at MSI Afterburner, right from this preview here, 300 and 200 on core and memory. Still normal. All this stuff still locked. There is no fan. Like I said, it's passively cooled. So, I mean, for a passively cooled card, that's a humongous improvement. Our FPS, yeah, it isn't really the smoothest, but, I mean, we're obtaining, like, usually 30. So I could uh, V-Sync on half, so it uh, caps at 30, but, I mean, we're running really good. So, uh, that that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.